I am Dr. Uh, Prasad from Mayo Clinic, Rochester, and uh, this is a video abstract on our paper entitled uh, The Epidemiology of Eosinophilic Esophagitis Over Three Decades in Olmsted County, Minnesota. As we all know, uh, eosinophilic esophagitis is a disease characterized by the eosinophilic infiltration of the mucosa in the esophagus, which leads to symptoms of dysphagia and food infection food impaction in, in adults. Uh, there has been some controversy in the literature in terms of the reason for the increasing number of cases being seen with viewpoints of both increased recognition as well as a true increase in incidence being expressed. We used our unique resources of the Rochester Epidemiology Project in Olmsted County to attempt to answer this question. We used a robust case identification technique wherein all cases of eosinophilic esophagitis were identified by review of a medical record index, as well as all bi esophageal biopsies with any mention of e uh, either eosinophils or esophagitis were re-reviewed by a single expert gastrointestinal pathologist using a standard and well-accepted threshold for the diagnosis of eosinophilic esophagitis, which is 15 eosinophils per high power field. This latter approach was important as we identified a significant proportion of patients from the total cohort by this strategy. We then attempted to calculate the incidence and prevalence of EE over the last three decades, and we broke the three decades into six five-year intervals. What we found was that the incidence of EE increased significantly over the last three of the five-year intervals which were studied. We found a significant seasonal variation in the incidence of EE in Olmsted County with a disproportionate number of cases being identified in summer and early fall. The prevalence of EE was 55 cases per 100,000 patient population. And this is significantly higher than that has been previously reported. We also attempted to um, characterize the clinical course of these patients which, uh, who were diagnosed with EE in Olmsted County and found that approximately 40% of patients recurred in terms of symptoms and or findings over the follow-up uh, of the study. So in summary, we found um, that the incidence of EE did increase significantly over the last 15 years, that this was associated with a seasonal variation in diagnosis. And interestingly, this increase in incidence was in parallel with an increase in endoscopy volume in Olmsted County during the same time period. It is unclear if this is simply an ecological phenomenon or is truly related. Thank you. Hi, I'm Nick Talley from Mayo Clinic, Florida, and I just want to emphasize that this study we believe is important. It's important because it emphasizes the, the, the prevalence of diagnosed eosinophilic esophagitis. These data actually probably reflect the uh, the lower end of the prevalence spectrum. There are almost certainly undiagnosed cases of eosinophilic esophagitis in the community that we would not have detected with the strategy we used. And this needs to be kept in mind when looking at the figures. Uh, another key piece of information from this study is the chronicity of the disease. Uh, about 50% seem to get better over time, but at least half probably continue to have chronic illness, and that's important to recognize for clinicians. Thanks for listening.